Hi, I'm Heather D. Hagward. So I'm going to start out here by talking a little bit about my background as an artist. Um, so I'm an artist, a visual artist. I consider myself to be uh, an information artist, which is a term which was originally coined by another artist named Stephen Wilson, who wrote a really fascinating book on the topic of information art called Information Art. And uh, what information arts really means to me is that what connects my work is not a specific medium, but rather a kind of critical approach to thinking about the concept of information. My work generally begins with a question. Um, and the question behind this piece actually hit me as I was sitting in a therapy session. And I was staring at a print on the wall in the office. And I noticed that the glass that was covering this print had a crack in it. And as I looked closer, I noticed that in that crack was lodged a single hair. And I start imagining whose hair this might be. Where are they from? What do they look like? So I decided that I should make this idea that I was having as a piece. I should make it in, into a work of art. I should collect DNA from strangers, from samples that I find in public spaces, on the street, in a bathroom, in a bar, and use that DNA to generate actual portraits based on what I can learn from that data. And I started collecting samples of hair in public spaces, mainly hairs from bathrooms, and mainly because I just kept noticing them. Literally, every time I went out, I would notice a hair somewhere on the subway next to me or in a bathroom at school. And so here is the portrait that was generated from my um, DNA in digital form. So this is a three-dimensional model, digital model. And here you can see it printed in physical form. And so this is me holding up my uh, DNA face. I see my role as the artist in this piece as pointing to these questions and saying these questions are worth asking. These are topics that are worth talking about. These are realities that we need to start addressing in a scientifically literate way not simply in a fearful or overzealous approach. So this is the place where I see the most opportunity for the public to get involved. And I guess what I would say in kind of a, a word of conclusion here would be, I would urge you to read the science on this subject, know what you're talking about, and talk to your friends, talk to policymakers, and have an opinion.